Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Becca's Backyard. Um, this is Becca, I'm sitting in a very strange position this week, and I'm sorry, I will try to remember to look at the camera. Um, but I'm on my floor, literally, like, here. I'm sitting on the floor, that's my computer. I'm sitting on a dog bed currently. Um, and I have my computer on a box, but I'm here anyway, doing my Sunday video, despite despite being exhausted. I mean, I am, and I'm sorry you're looking at my notes, but I am so tired. Um, yesterday was the big day. Yesterday we did cat and dog move. So we moved the dogs and the cats into the house finally and um, really just, wow, exhausting. So we had to do two cars, two trips. First we had to go up with all of their stuff, everything that they would need to be up here um, and all that fun stuff. And then we had to do a second trip with whatever was left and all the animals. So over here is the crate, Penny's crate. Um, but for this little one hour trip we had to do, we threw all six cats, yes, six of them, uh, into that crate and they all squished together, meowed, meowed, meowed a lot. Um, I had them in my car, of course, uh, Antonio gets the dogs. Um, and, uh, we got here, we made it. It was a lot of meows later, but, but we're here and we slept here last night. Um, and they are per machines. Ah, oh, they are so happy to have windows and space and, um, just really feels good. Like this was a really smart, smart decision for our whole family. Um, sorry for the messy hair. I uh, did my best, threw it up in a clip, but again, showered last night, crashed right on the bed with wet hair and everything. So whatever, I'm, I've already been to the supermarket today like this. Um, it's my reality. And um, yeah, I'm now here back from the supermarket wanting to make sure I record with you guys because I have so much to talk about. But before I go further, because I know people are going to ask me. So this is one of my favorite nerd shirts of all time. I don't know if you can really, oh, there you go. That's better. Right? Okay, you got a good shot of it. Ask all the questions you want now, but um, it's one of my favorites. But in any case, here I am to talk to you about what's going on with me and some changes and I hope some inspiration for you guys because um, as you guys know, I've been going through this really big struggle piece in my life. Um, and you know, out of challenge, I think, comes the growth that we're all looking for. Um, out of those challenges, those moments when we're just, oh, right, um, that's sort of when the good stuff happens, I think. Um, it feels really crappy, but that's when, that's when the flourishing <laughs> happens. Um, so this past few weeks has been stressful, to say the least, purchasing the house, trying to figure out how we're going to move everybody, um, just all of it. Um, and then on top of it, you know, I had that really big situation that I've been talking about the last couple of weeks, which was work related. Um, and I've now lost my job and um, back looking um, back to consulting, um, back looking for another project that I can dig my teeth into. Um, big mismanagement of funds here. So, you know, not really sure what went on, um, but did not feel safe for me to continue to be attached. So I've moved on. Um, and I'm sitting on my floor and telling you the story of that. Um, but I also had this huge, big, happy goings on um, that I've had. And it's been amazing because out of it, I realized um, now that I have to think about looking for a job, I got to ask myself all over again, kind of what it is that I want to be doing. Um, and I realized a couple of things. First of all, and this is my big one. Um, I edit myself a lot for these videos, for my speaking engagements. Um, not in that I don't say what it is that I'm really thinking about, but I have to think very, very hard about my choice of words. Um, I always have to make sure I'm up on our language in our community and um, also that I'm, I'm really thinking about the way that I'm stringing words together to present an idea so that I'm not offending anybody or saying something out of turn, something that I don't know. Um, in that arena. Um, and what I realized is it takes kind of the fun out of doing what it is that I'm doing with you guys. And a couple of times um, I've had that go differently and I really enjoyed that. So this is my very first warning, warning, 
not safe for work video. Uh, as of today, I am not gonna edit out my cursing. I am not gonna edit out the way that I want to describe a situation, whether it's graphic or um, painful or involves cursing because you know what? The other thing I do, and here, this is even worse. Actually, I'm gonna fix it now. Um, this is the other part of the cursing. What comes with that package and what's part of my personality is my New York accent. And sometimes you guys can hear it, but the truth of my New York accent is that um, I've always been kind of embarrassed about it. I really, when I was a little kid, I thought I wanted to be in TV commercials. And it was a really big problem to have a New York accent. You couldn't say coffee and things like that. Um, but I gotta tell you, when I'm really passionate about something and when, and so, oh, the other part of that thought is right. So you, they, everybody wanted to train out you. And as a result, I sort of became embarrassed about my New York accent. I was like, oh, I should make sure when I'm not in New York that I don't sound like I'm from New York. All of the stigma that goes along with being a city girl and all of that stuff. Um, but I'm, not anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. I mean, I, I, I don't know how much of it I cut out, but I know that when I really believe passionately and talk passionately about something, uh, I sound like a heavy, heavy, heavy Queens girl that I am. Uh, so that's it. You're going to get me. You're going to get my accent. You're going to get my motherfucking cursing all over the place. Because when I tell a story and when I have something to say, sometimes the only thing that makes it sound as big as it is to me is to give it some color. So you'll be getting New York Becca after this. Um, if you don't want that, feel free to unsubscribe. If you really like that, feel free to invite people to subscribe. Um, my writing's gonna be changing too. Um, and so is the stuff on my page. I still am gonna be this really positive person and I've been working on that really amazing idea that I had for a self-help book. Been thinking about it, running it by some people. You guys were really positive in what you told me. So, um, going to be doing that for sure. And here's the thing about it. I am not writing it for the autism community. I know I said that last week, but I'm going to say it again. I am not writing it for the autism community. I'm writing it for the world. Um, I think that what I have to say is bigger than the autism community. The autism community has been an amazing place to find my self-confidence, to find my voice and what it is that I have to say. But um, I'm tired of leading with that foot and I want to lead with my Becca foot um, and I'm going to take the autism with me. So watch out mainstream. Here I come. I'm doing the same thing with jobs. I'm out looking for work, like I said, and I want to make this change in my life. So I'm making it across the board, which is what I tell you guys to do all the time. If you really want to see change happen, don't talk about it. Don't complain about it. Actually do it. I shared a meme about it this week. Um, even little bits of action, tiny, tiny steps of action um, will get you eventually to where you're going or where you're supposed to go, which is the even better part of this story. So I thought here I was on this right track doing all of these things that I wanted to be doing with our community. But in the end of it all, I really want to do it for the world. And I think, I don't know, well, fuck that. I'm bigger than the autism community. I'm, I can be bigger than just my autism, than just our little tiny community. Um, I can share the gifts that my autism gave me with the whole world. Um, so I'm starting to look for TEDx experiments. I'm starting to look for jobs in diversity and inclusion that are not necessarily in autism organizations. Um, I, wanna, I wanna share what we can do with the rest of the world. And I know I got something big in me. So that's it, I guess. I mean, not safe for work anymore. I guess. And here, here goes a big journey. I'm excited to share that with you guys. I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm sorry for you looking up my nose this entire video, but I was just too tired to do anything but sit down on the floor and kind of just chill with you guys um, and share my new office with you because that's where I'm sitting. I am sitting in my brand newly painted office. Um, it is separate from where my sleeping area is. I don't have to share my living room with it. Um, I get to do my work, I get to sit here and write, and then I get to leave and go spend time with my family, which are the two most important things in my life. Um, so I'm getting myself focused, I'm gonna let my writing flourish, I'm gonna let my family flourish, and I'm gonna let my roots grow in this new house, and I'm gonna keep my stuff together and keep pushing forward so that I can show the world that our community is much more than just this little tiny bubble that we hide ourselves in. Um, I hope you guys find my first not for safe, not safe for work video fun, I guess. It'll get better when I get more comfortable with it, I guess, um, or when I'm 
feeling more emotional about a particular topic um, or just having more energy. Until then, I challenge you. I challenge you guys to look around at your life, think about what it is that you would like to change and take some action today. Just take one action. If you wanna start reading a book, take it off the shelf, put a bookmark in it and read the first page. It's one step, it's teeny tiny, but tomorrow you keep going and the next day you keep going and after that you keep going. You know, you got this. I'll see you guys next Sunday.